Ah, the age-old debate. Should you or should you not eat bass? We're gonna talk about that. Hello and welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Fish Talk, a show where I have five minutes on the timer to discuss all things fishing. This show appears every single Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time Zone, so if you're new to this series, click the red subscribe button below to stay tuned. Let's get started. I just loaded five minutes on this timer here, and you know what that means. It's time to get real. We're talking about a subject, a very juicy subject, a subject which has been discussed and argued about for like decades on the internet. And here I am, I have five minutes to discuss it, so we need to get right to it. I'm gonna talk about why it's okay to catch and keep bass, and then I'm gonna talk about why you shouldn't keep bass, and then we're gonna draw our conclusion at the very end. Now, before I do get started, I want to let you know that I'm clearly a catch and release guy. If you've watched any of my previous fishing videos, you'll see that I'm releasing every fish. Um, I like to keep fish from time to time. I like to eat fish. I tend not to do it. It's just not really in my DNA, but I, but I do see why people do it. And that's why hopefully today um, you can understand both aspects of why people do these things. And then again, we're going to get to the conclusion in a minute. So let's get right to it. Why is it okay for people to eat bass? Why is it okay to take fish from a population? Well, let's think about that. If you have a lake and it has just piles of bass in it, just a whole bunch, people that are taking bass are probably doing what's right for that body of water. You, you don't want too many fish, and here's why. If you take any animal in the history of animals and you take too much population in too confined of an area, what happens? Disease. And it happens with bass too. And what that's actually going to do is just kill off the population. And so you don't want that. It's like basically a plague. And so when you get to that situation, if people are taking them out, that's doing very good for the or conservation efforts. Now, when it comes to that as well, obviously, let's just say that they have a, you know, they're fine and there's no plague, there's no, none of that crap. What is going to happen is there's going to be a stunted growth and all those bass are going to be competing for the same food source. And so they're all going to be like 12 to 14 inches long. And I know that it's fun to catch fish every cast, but I think all of us are wanting to catch three to five pounders. And that's never going to happen in a body of water that has too much fish. And so that's why it's okay. Now let's get into why I kind of think that it's not okay. Now, if you have basically the complete opposite and you have a body of water that has very little population of bass. And, and fisheries biologists and anglers are really trying to build that population up over time. If you're pulling fish out, obviously you're going the opposite way. But, but again, that's kind of one extreme to the other. In your average body of water where there's just a normal population of fish, I think it's okay to do it from time to time, as long as people aren't going overboard and putting it in one extreme or the other. So that's where you want to just try to be living in the middle somewhere to where there's a good population of fish, but not so much to where they're in a, in a bad situation and not too little to where they're, you know, basically not catchable. Um, but let's talk about one particular season when you should never keep bass and that's the spring. And that's because these fish during the pre-spawn, they're loaded up with eggs. During the spawn, they're either laid their eggs and protecting them or they're about to lay their eggs. And then during the post-spawn, they're guarding their fry. And so what you're doing is basically, if you were to keep any of those bass, what you're doing is you're harming the future population of that lake. Now again, if you're in an overpopulation situation, <laughs> overpopulation situation, if you're in that situation, then maybe it's not a big deal. But if you're in any other situation, I think that's kind of, personally, I, I don't think it's doing right by the body of water. I think that you want to release those fish and that way um, you can give those future generations of fish a chance to survive. And that way future generations of anglers have somewhere to fish. Now that's my opinion. Now the other thing is bass are such a sport fish and I think that this is really where a lot of people um, live when it comes to this argument is bass is such a sport fish and there's so many other fish out there that taste better and might not be as um, big of a deal to take them out just based on their population levels. And that's where it's like, you just really need to um, think about that kind of thing. If you really like eating bass, then keep doing it. But I guess my conclusion here, let's just get to my conclusion is, let's focus predominantly on one thing. Let's not focus on whether or not you should keep fish. Let's focus on the conservation efforts. Let's focus on the lake, the environment. And let's make sure that we're keeping that lake in good shape. If it has too many fish, yeah, let's take some out. And if you're on a private body of water and you have access to another private body of water where you can, you know, relocate fish, great. Now you're catching and releasing and you're, you're actually helping both causes. But if you're on public, obviously you don't do that. That's a fisheries biologist job, so don't mess with that and that's illegal. Um, but when it comes to that, let's, let's focus on conservation and let's focus on building up the population to where it's a healthy, sustainable place for those fish to live. 
Holy cow, I've got 30 seconds. I cannot believe I cruised through that. I'm canceling that out. So overall, I'd love to know your opinion. Let me know what you think on this subject. Are you a catch and release guy or are you a catch and eat guy? I'd like to know. The other thing is, is I'm not a fisheries biologist. If you want to know more about this subject as it relates to your specific area, what I would do is I would give a call to your fisheries biologist in the region and I would be like, Yo, what's up, man? I'd like to know the information. I'd like to know the down low on the area. I want to know where can I keep bass and is it going to be good for the conservation of that population of fish? Well, I think we covered that subject quite nicely. What are your thoughts? Have yourself a fantastic weekend and uh, we'll catch you next time.